Hi, thank you for tuning in. Welcome to Angel of Divine. My name is Heather Aguilera. Many blessings. In this video recording, I had a request from one of you to speak about the topic of grief. Um, grieving the lost of anything really, uh, grieving the loss of a friend, relationship, uh, death of a loved one. I'm not exactly sure what, you know, this um, individual was grieving specifically, but I want to talk uh, or touch on the subject of grief. I kind of feel like this picture <laughs> defines it. You know, it's it's okay to bleed and have scars and you know it's okay to fail and get back up uh, there is many times and many different forms of grieving so a lot of the times when we have expectations of something to go away that we expect it to go and it doesn't and it fails to meet your requirements or your needs being met, they haven't been met by somebody or, you know, something exterior from you. This is one form of grieving, right? So if it's a relationship and that the relationship that you had in mind didn't follow through the way you expected it to, you know, you may have to grieve that aspect of the relationship. So it's one form of grieving. Another form of grieving is someone giving you grief, uh, you know, Charlie Brown, oh, good grief. <laughs> um, and someone causing grief for you. So just kind of maybe antagonizing type of spirit, antagonizing type of energy. That's one form of grief. And the main one that I'm going to cover in this video in particular is going to be grieving over lost souls, loved ones. So you know, or family members, relationships of any kind. But I, I do want to talk about grieving the the dead. Uh, we are in this time where we pay our ancestors and our cross of our loved ones um, respect and honor. We honor them, you know, especially around this time, if you're into that. If not, that's okay. Um, but, you know, so grieving, the grieving aspect and the grieving spirit it is known in some cultures that you grieve a soul that's passed over for at least a year. You honor them, you respect them, you respect their lives, and you allow yourself to miss them. You encourage yourself to just go through the emotions. Grieving, is, there's a process to grieving. You know, sometimes there's denial, and then there's anger, upset, you know, whatever the case may be. A lot of people don't deal with death in the most um, highest light, I guess you could say, because there's a lot of attachment there. And that can bring a lot of tethering to that spirit that is trying to, you know, move on as well and go through their own process in the um, other realm, if you will. So when we're grieving our lost over, our, our crossed over loved ones that have gone before us and maybe this has happened tragically if you've had a tragic event happen to a loved one that has crossed over it's going to take you more time to get over this spirit so depending on how you've lost this loved one and again like I said I'm, I'm talking about ones that have passed have gone relationships that end can seem as also a death, a death of a relationship, a death of something that once was, that third energy that once was, and then you're grieving that energy. So that's another form of death, another aspect of grief. Um, you know, so how do you get over these? How do you allow yourself to process through it? First, realizing self-realization and coming into the realization that it is a process grieving is a process uh, losing someone is real it's reality we we lose them or they transition into another 
realm, another form, right? So their shell is no longer with us and they're no longer in the physical, but they're more in the spiritual. But there's still a grieving aspect to that. There also can be a very intimate relationship that happens with you and the crossed over loved one that has passed over. So the way I what the question was how did i how do i get over grief someone asked me personally what did i do to overcome grief um well just self love self practice devotion to myself and devotion to my spiritual path is what i can honestly say and the advice that i can give is to speak if you need to speak to somebody about how you feel speak about to them, uh, write it out, speak to the spirit of your crossed over loved one, even if it's a relationship that has ended, and you're grieving the relationship, you could speak to your, you know, your old lover, and just tell them, like, you know, what is, you know, heavy on your heart, and, and in speaking to them, you're, you're, basically like they're a spirit almost you know so in these ways it's the grieving of a death of a relationship the grieving of a crossed over loved one or your ancestor or a pet even that has left and then and then how are you going to honor the spirit how are you going to honor the um the loved one that has left or the relationship that has left, we could pay it, okay, I honor you, it didn't meet my needs or we didn't, you know, it didn't work out the way we or you expected it to and then laying that to rest and allowing that to heal itself in its own timing and then also with the loved ones that have crossed over, you know, in a sense, I don't want to say one is easier than the other because it's all different and it's all very unique. But when we have our crossed over loved ones, we could reestablish a new type of spiritual relationship with the crossed over loved ones. And the relationship takes a different form. And in that you have more intimacy with spirit, more protection, more guidance, more like just a connection and, and a love that your maybe your your animal died or friend or family member and you can take that into a more spiritual context okay every time i see this sign you know it's from maybe your your dog your your animal or a loved one that passed over whoever it is they give me this particular sign you know and then you receive that sign and and then you're like oh my gosh okay they're they're here they're watching me they're looking after me so these are ways that we can you know process through it there are ways that we can see things in a lighter um, light they are ways that you know assist us in healing and also assist the crossed over loved one and their healing ability too and renewing what they can do okay you know they're on the other side and they're learning how to be spirit guides and they're learning how to send messages and they're learning how to communicate with you in these ways so everyone's learning in a new level right so um, I, I think it's pretty neat. And if you do honor the spirits, which I will put on a different video, how to set up an altar and, and make offerings if you're into that to your loved ones, to your ancestors. And if you are called to do that, if you're called to do something like that, if it's something you feel comfortable with, you have to feel comfortable with doing it. It is something that, you know, can really assist you and your path. It, it can it is something that can really help you to tune into your ancestors, to to t- tune into a love that is very different. Um, you know, a different form of love. Love comes in many forms and also assist you in healing in ways that you know you didn't realize maybe you you needed so these are things that i suggest uh because the question 
was what do I suggest for that? So I hope I answered your question correctly. And like I said, if it's if it's a relationship, it's a little different, you know, um, but it kind of can be the death of the relationship and you can honor them and, you know, thank you for the lessons. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Burn pictures. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, but anyways, just to make light of it, uh, we can... The grieving process is like everything. It's a process. Healing takes time. And once you get to the point where it's like, ah, yes, you're here. And then there's other learning. So we're always learning. We're always growing. We're always cultivating new information, new insights. And also, um, as we grow, we're assisting our ancestors, if you believe in that. I, I most certainly do, that we assist our ancestors as well as they're working through their process in other realms. And sometimes maybe you can meet up with them in the dream state. And that does happen sometimes too if you're open to it. So like I said, I hope this covered the question. Thank you for asking. Many blessings and thank you. <laughs>